Boat Setter just raised $38 million for a fleet of 50,000 boats. It's an Airbnb of blank. Because Airbnb forgot about the blank. Oh, let's sprinkle on a little context here. Jack, Airbnb, they just reported earnings. What kind of numbers are we seeing out there? Revenue soared by 58% compared to last year. Airbnb's core business of home rentals is booming during this summer of revenge travel. But we noticed another headline from Miami-based Boat Setter. Boat Setter. It's a startup that just raised $38 million to expand its armada. It has an armada. It has an armada. It's got Boston whalers. It's got catamarans. It's got sun skis. Is that what they're called? Yeah, let's go with that. 23 footers, maybe a canoe or two. I don't think they have canoes, but this is the Airbnb for boats. And it's thriving. If it's got a stern and it's got a helm and maybe a jet ski, it's probably on Boat Setter. Now, I booked a boat on Boat Setter for Shane's bachelor party in Austin last you year. You jumped in like T-Boy style retroactively like two years ago. It was 600 bucks for a six-hour booking of a boat, which is big enough to comfortably fit like a dozen dudes. Which is like 18 normal human beings. Right. And like Airbnb, this is a theocracy. It wasn't just 600 bucks. They're like, would you like a captain for your boat? Ooh. Uh yeah, I'm not going to go out there with oars. How much more are they charge you for the captain? 200 bucks. It was, I think, I don't think it was a horrible deal. But Yetis, here's what Jack and I find fascinating about Boat Setter. As we looked into Boat Setter, we realized there's a formula to becoming the Airbnb of blank. There are three criteria for a product category to get airbnb fine. Yeah, first, you must be expensive. Second, you must require maintenance. And third, you must be barely used. If a product category is those three things, then there's probably already an app to let you peer-to-peer -peer share it. Case in point, Swimply is the Airbnb for pools. Turo and Getaround are the Airbnb for cars. Hip Camp and Tenter are the Airbnbs for pretty spots of land where you can camp. Pal. It's the Airbnb for private tennis courts, Nick. Okay, pools, cars, land, tennis courts. Expensive. Check. Requires maintenance. Check. And let's be honest, you use it like 1% of the time. <laughs> oh, triple check. So, Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Boat Setter? Airbnb should become the everything sharing app. Yetis, in our 2020 preview pod, we predicted that Airbnb would expand from home rentals into everything rentals. For wish, though? It hasn't been granted. Yeah, it hasn't. Like Airbnb, they've built the tech infrastructure for safe, trustworthy sharing with strangers. Airbnb has the insurance, the ratings, and the verification to globally scale home sharing. I mean, Jack, people trust Airbnb to let a stranger roam through their walk-in closet on any given weekend. That's why we think it would be so easy for Airbnb to expand their business, to add a tab in the app for boats, add a tab for cars, add a tab for tennis courts, I would book a sledding hill on Airbnb. Because Airbnb's expertise, it isn't homes, it's sharing. That's why Airbnb should become the everything sharing app. Thanks for jumping in T-Boy style. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more pop biz that you need.